G'day guys! Today I'm here to show you how easy it is to implement new components inside this table system. So, I created this new super weird component here that makes not much, not much sense, but there it is. And we are gonna to implement it in our system. So, first thing we want to do is actually checking collisions, be sure to have collisions. So whether you imported them from your uh, 3D modeling software or you created them in Unreal, like adding new box, then scaling it and placing it in the position you want. So in these cases I imported them from Blender and what we want to do now is actually extend them a bit in the direction of the overlaps. So think about, think about the uh, position where you want the snaps to be happening and you want to extend a bit the collision in that direction. So we have like three boxes here, so one, two and three. So here we have them in the collision panel. And I'm gonna expand these and on the X axis, so we'll be like, let's say two centimeters more, so 113 for this one, and then we'll be 113 for this one, and 137 for this one here. So now they are extended, and what we need now are the sockets. So sockets are needed to uh, create the snapping points. So we just add one here, we say like minus 50, sorry, minus 100. And there we have one, second one, minus 100. And the third one will be, should be like 100 and 100. There we are. So okay, now we have the collision fixed, we have our uh, um, sockets in position. And what we can do now, let's save, moving into the building components, copy whatever one of them we just duplicated, like weird component, you can open it, go on the full blueprint editor, viewport, checking the static mesh and swapping it. So weird component. There it is. So the last step in our uh, little tutorial is just to implement the uh, creation. So I created a, a player controller here and I added a list of uh, uh, keys just to spawn components. So in our case, we can just like press four, add the shift as this one. So we'll be shift four, our keyword, or sorry, our key to, to spawn it. And I'm just gonna paste this one here for the spawning. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually calling the uh, AC, the extra component, the builder, and I'm telling it to spawn the component, and then I'm gonna set the build mode say to true. So here the component will be the weird one, and done. So I'm gonna press play now. The calculation will happen on this building, but we don't care. What we're gonna do is place a component here, he will be calculated too. And what we can do now is shift four to add a new one. So now we have our new component. We can add, um, let's see, new component here. It will snap perfectly to this one. Then we can add a new one here. We can add one in the middle here. Sorry, now oh, let's add this one here. Like this, we can have uh, really whatever guys can be bad position. There we go. And I don't know if the, the angle is the right one. Let me see. We can try to fit. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got transported. There we go. So that's it. It was so easy and so fast. We really did it in little seconds. And the system is working perfectly. So uh, what I want to show you now is how to implement the whole system inside the character of yours. So whatever it is, it can even be the third person character we have here in this case, the default from Unreal Engine. So as default, we have this flying camera, which can be moved around, can fly around like this, go left and right. We have the, the keys here on the top left corner of the screen and we have our uh, uh, keys here to press, to create and spawn objects and whatever. 
So what we want to do is to implement the system inside the third-person character from Unreal. So what we're going to do, we're going to just open the character. In this case, I just want to add him a little hammer in the hand. So give a static mesh, hammer, gonna be the hammer here, and I'm going to snap it to the hand socket. There we go. So now our character has his own hammer and it's ready to build. So um, we, we add the new component, will be our builder component, JC builder. So all we need to do now is just get the reference to our AC builder and on begin play, or in really whatever part of the code you need to initialize it, called the initialization function, it's called the initialize builder component. We connect it, a bit of order, and all this function need is a scene component to trace from. And the camera is the perfect one for this role. So, initialize the builder component, we pass the camera, and in this case we should be good to go. All I want to do now is just to go to here, possess, auto possess player, player zero, and we should be good to go. So, let me do an example, just like destroy like this. We can press three, get back the floor. There we go. So as you can see, everything is working and we already implemented this whole system inside the character. So that's it guys. I hope I showed you how easy it is to implement this system in every kind of game of yours. And uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.